Hi guys, I would like to welcome you for the video version of the intern Gyan session. So before going further, I would like to introduce myself. Uh, I'm Fajal Maheshwari and I am from BS Economics Y16 and currently placed at American Express. During my third year, I did my internship at Fidelity Investments Chennai. And during my second year, I did work under search program and the NYU RT program that goes within the campus itself. So just before going further, I would like to point out one thing. This video is regarding the analyst role that comes on campus. Uh, so in my opinion, you should prepare for as many profiles as possible because being versatile is really good for you. Okay, so without wasting any further time, let's get started. As we already know that uh, the biggest chunk of companies on campus come for the analyst profile only. Uh, some of the companies are American Express, Gartner, Walmart Labs, Access Bank, Fidelity Investments, etc. Obviously, this list is not comprehensive at all. So let's first of all look at the typical recruitment process these companies follow. So there is a resume shortlist, which is mostly based on a CPI criteria. So if you have CPI greater than 7, then it will not be a problem for you. Uh, then we have the aptitude and coding test. For aptitude test, you have quant, probability and statistics, verbal part, which is mostly English only. And then we have the coding test and or the coding questions, which are mostly around one or two coding questions. Then we have the reviews, typically three to four round, but it depends upon the company itself. So there are resume based questions, which are on the projects or previous internships. There are like puzzles or quant based questions programming questions basically the most popular ones they'll not like you to code anything but they'll like you to provide them with the algorithm with which you can solve it then we have the guesstimates and case studies question which are not that popular in the internship interviews but are very popular in the in, in the placement interviews and then we have the technical question round which is mostly based on like machine learning questions or the data science question or python r sql questions apart from that we have the hr questions these are the most underrated questions but uh, you should prepare for them they are really important so now as we know the recruitment process we can talk about the preparation strategy that we should for puzzles these are the few links that people normally use and these are provided in the priority order brand Steller, Reangle, Geeks for Geeks, Gourmet's blog, CSC blog. These are really important blogs and so mostly the companies ask questions which are really similar to what already given on these links and you should try and solve as many questions as possible beforehand because uh, solving a new puzzle in the real-time interview is really difficult because of the excess pressure that gets built on you and Also, if you know the answer to some question beforehand never tell them beforehand So just try to fool them that you are solving it For the aptitude test we have pariksha.com. That's pretty popular try to solve as many mock tests as possible for you from this site itself then we have the coding questions based on interview bit, lead code, geeks for geeks, people use them. Apart from that, things that are specific to the analyst role are that you should have knowledge about Python, R or SQL. At least you should look into typical interview questions that are asked related to these skill set. Now, apart from that, you should have some knowledge of ML or AI and data science if you have it it will be good for you otherwise it's not a problem at all and then these apart from these specific skills for the analyst role there are some common skills for different profiles so you should be thorough about each and every point on a resume you should work on your communication skills and network with the seniors in the field you are planning to apply for there are some other resources as well that I have provided on this link. There are certain HR questions as well which are provided here. So you can try and look into it. Uh, apart from that, some of the important institute courses, I think, which were like MSO and HSO, which were a statistics course. And we have the data structures course, ESC 101. I, obviously, everyone has done it. 
then econometrics one or two so if you haven't done any of these courses it's a good time to actually pick up them through some online ones okay okay so i would like to answer a few questions before moving further so what kind of self projects on ml and data science are good to do for a good resume during this lockdown period so as we all know that we had some plans during these summer period but because of this lockdown they got disrupted so in my opinion we should try and do something which shows the company the skill set that they are looking for so something to do with data something to do with python r and machine learning modeling will be good for you so there are a few examples that i have thought of so problem statements on kaggle are really good some sort of an exercise like graphical analysis of covid-19 cases its exception modeling like how is it going to evolve in the future something that is going to predict the future course of action for some company or some industry which is backed by data is really something that companies will be looking forward to uh apart from that like importance of ds so ds is obviously really important because the questions that are asked in the coding test can be solved if you know a few things related to data structures course that they teach them like the stack queue heap trees graph etc the knowledge of these topics is really important so if you haven't learned it just google them learn about them and try to solve the problems given on interview bit and lead code based on these topics and you'll be good to go uh, what's the hardness level of the coding questions asked so, so the simple answer to this question is that it depends on the company to company basis but mostly you can assume that for the analyst role the questions will be simpler as compared to a software role which is quite natural but even if you say for an analyst role they are simpler it's not like that they will not ask you questions based on graphs there's nothing like that for analyst there's no graph question so you should have you will have to prepare for everything okay a uh, list of companies that come on campus so um although i've provided you with a link with some names but a more comprehensive list again it's not complete here but a more comprehensive list can be found on this link on the spo website uh, online courses which will be beneficial so as we all know that to get started with machine learning or ai we should do the andrew ng course that is given on coursera along with this specialization that he offers there for data science you can try this course from university of michigan there's a professor called as Christopher Brooks who takes this course this course is really good and if you don't know anything about python r or sql you should try pick up these things as well as they are important uh, what preparation are required to get an internship in ml and ai so i think that this whole video was really about this only but like companies don't expect you to have very deep knowledge about machine learning and ai beforehand they just want you to know about a simple stuff like random forest neural networks etc and in test they are just going to ask you theoretical machine learning questions in the interview as well they are ask they, are, they will be asking you theoretical machine learning questions only which can be answered if you read these chapters these four chapters from the book of kevin murphy and the link is also provided here and should focus more on cp or machine learning data science in my opinion you should focus more on cp or rather coding itself because the companies which come for machine learning or ai profile don't require you to know very deep about machine learning they just want you to have some basic idea about it but they want you to know coding so in any profile coding is very very important so you should work on cp or rather coding in my opinion so a uh, career in machine learning or ai is quite a promising one because this machine learning is a tool that different companies are trying to leverage with the amount of data they have so irrespective of the industry this tool is going to be like working in huge demand 
for them in the coming future as well so i would like to end this here all the links that are provided in the slides are also provided in the description as well thank you and all the very best and in case of any doubt you can ping me thank you